a need arises, we have to we have, we're required to meet those needs. The other position is because we merged the two middle schools, best practice based upon the student population is to have an assistant principal at the middle school. At the middle school, yes. Difference. That's the only uh, that's the only added position per the staffing policy. Everything else was decreased. Yes. And the board between now and May first will, in all likelihood, increase some of these allocations. What was decreased? I don't have it. I don't have it to look at. I mean, Do you, would you like to look at mine for a few minutes? Is that the yeah, that's that's the original. Through attrition, while you're looking at that, Donette, I'll also point out a couple other things I just want to make clear and be transparent. Because of the merge in the librarians, which we had 0.5. Mm -hmm. uh, at all schools, we had. At all schools, but because we merged and because of the student population, there is one full or FTE, full time equivalent librarian at the high school, which I recommend remain. Yes. And then mm -hmm. the middle school and elementary still share the 0.5. Now, that's a 0.5 allocation. Uh, that that's important for those administrators and site-based councils to understand that it's pretty hard to hire a half-time librarian. So there's some teamwork in the district that has to be agreed upon. But the point five is the allocation. The minimum requirement for a district is to have a librarian. The minimum requirement for a school is to have a part-time librarian. Part-time is not defined. Our time is in, it could be a 10% of the time or two days or 10 days. It's, it's not clearly defined. Other than the district must have, must employ one, at least one librarian. If uh, further discussion, stopping allocations. Not a motion to approve. We have a second. I'll second. Motion to second. All in favor, favor saying aye. 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 Opposed? Pressure. You can keep that one down there if you want. Four yay and one nay. Motion carries. The next item on the agenda is discussion action on school security contracts. Sean Clark House. I put that on the agenda because I read it as a contract. It's a memorandum of agreement, but uh, the, the word contract is used within that. Uh, it is a standing contract. The only difference really now is instead of the, the proceeds going directly to the high school, which I think they've been done in the past. Is that correct, Tammy? Did they go directly to the high school? Uh, under Red Book, they will be coming to the district and then go to the school. So I would recommend after looking at it, it's, it's an existing contract. It, it can be... Um, Without penalty, it can be broken by the high school at any time. Basically, they're selling a tire that have a cardinal on it or Shelter Clark Cardinal. And we get 7%, uh, I believe, 7% of the proceeds from that. It's a pretty good fundraiser. I think I got a couple thousand dollars so. last year. And Mr. Meadows, there's also another way that we could say the school can just provide us with a list notifying the board on the amount and they can keep the, the money at the school as long as they report it to the board. Okay. For their activity account. Yes. Okay. Very good. So I would recommend to the board that we continue this. Okay. Motion to continue the school spirit contract. I'll make a motion. I have a motion and a second. I'll second it. Motion and second. All in favor and favor saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Next item is discussion and possible action on the anti-bullying program. As I shared within the uh, working session, uh, my recommendation is uh, for. Uh, Middle school, Mr. Brent Hayes and his leadership team, his site based council to consider having that in. And board, I would, I would, uh, I'll just share with you. Uh, I, I believe the board is prepared to finance this, even if uh, Mr. Haney and his school was not able to afford that. But uh, we have 
as some discussions go on, that I think we can facilitate the, 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 the cost of the program for anti-bullying, whether it's probably around thirty-five dollars to $5,000. I believe that we're big enough to do that for our district. And it's needed, too, especially when we're talking about the social media uh, bullying yeah. for our kids. I was thinking, too, it'd be, I mean, it's probably too late this year, but maybe do it at the first of the year, that way maybe the message, especially if you get the support package that helps them have their, um, it puts the students in charge of um, having their own club, and it gives them all the information with it, and it's something they can carry on year round. See, if you, if you chose that package and you did it now, it's gonna be a waste, probably. Have you looked at it? Yeah, you know, I have actually, I knew a little bit about it prior to uh, the email from Mr. Meadows, but since then I've read more on it. Uh, seems like a remarkable program. Uh, some of the things that, that it entailed that I thought was a little better than some other programs was uh, the empowerment of the individual student of, of how they actually handled, reacted, dealt with situations that, uh, that may arise uh, in their lives. Uh, and, and I thought that was a great benefit as opposed to many of the others that seem to uh, just teach you how to stop bullying. Uh, at, this one does that along with how to empower the kids to react to that and to understand that it's not the end of the world in those instances. And I thought that was a great, uh, a great uh, part of that. Awesome. As far as when to start it, my site base and I haven't even discussed that. We haven't discussed uh, the funding of it either. Uh, we have discussed the program and uh, utilizing the program, uh, but that, and they're all for that. That's about the, the detail of it. We haven't gone much farther as to the funding or the starting time of it because I didn't know exactly you know, where you got where your stance was on it. Um, and it's a, like a you know pledge of kids sign after they you know go through the thing that they you know they don't. Many of those things. Many of those things we have done. Yeah. Uh, but those things are only as good as the follow up to those yeah. uh, pledges. Well, you know, just a sheet of yeah, paper unless involved. there's something to support that. Um, and sometimes that's that's the, the downfall of some of the things that we do. We, we start something and, and we don't see it all the way through, uh, but it's been pieces of programs instead of an entire initiative uh, such as this. So uh, what's some other schools in the area? Are there any schools in this area? I do know one school that's in the area. I do know one school district out of school state to do this and, and uh, it was in the high school and it's kind of a humorous thing at the count and that's how I knew about it you know the guy told me said, well you know things all these components they want you to look inside look inside your heart and, and stuff I could see that bullying is wrong you sign a <coughs> pledge uh, you know not to bully <laughs> the, after this one thing having a kid that threw a uh, you know another kid off the stage <laughs> off the stage and they reminded this kid that you know you'd signed this thing and he said well I, I looked in my heart and I didn't see anything wrong with it. it was kind of a kind of a humorous thing but the thing is you know you want to look at as you said follow-up you know to make sure that these things are just uh, that they actually work that they're evidence-based data to show that they work and it's just not a feel-good program you know something that we just do and you know it's solved it's resolved and, you know we don't worry about it. I have a mini DVD five minutes do y'all want to see it or, or do you just want to go on? But now this is a program that does need follow-up on it. A lot of schools that I've checked into it have done it maybe not done follow-up on it or something but it, it works. Well the support that's what the support package mm -hmm. does it yeah. it keeps you um, um, <coughs> I'm gonna try to say Kathleen. Um, it sustains you. Keep going. It sustains well, the you, you yeah. have communication, right. you know, with with the uh, program constantly, like through the support package. But it may, uh, as we move forward, it may be best with the remaining time we have left. It may be best to have this at the beginning of the year. Not that we That's would do nothing at the beginning. From you just start yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. But I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to be able to support this program, especially for the middle school. And it will be beneficial to our kids. I don't think that needs an action. Uh, needs an action. Uh, next item on the agenda is discussion and possible action on National Board Certified Teacher uh, $500 stipend for successful completion. Of 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a, really a professional development opportunity for our teachers. And what I did not share earlier is that typically this, you would see a request like this when we do salary schedules.